All right, that's going to do it for that topic. We've got one more for you. Cavs Lakers, is that uh, as an NBA final a foregone conclusion? I hate to say that because you still have to play the games and I give Denver possibly a puncher's chance Go in the on, West and you know maybe Orlando or whatever happens in the East. But yes, <laughs> I want to see LeBron. I want to see Kobe. But here's the catch. Even though I think the Lakers are a better team from top to bottom, the Cleveland Cavs have home court advantage. And in the NBA Finals, in a 2-3-2 format, that always benefits the team with home court. Very interesting to see who would win. But yes, those are the teams that you can expect in the NBA okay, Finals. And I do not think we should call off the rest of the playoffs because I'm not sold on the LA Lakers. I don't see Kobe, as he nears the end of his 13th season, play with nearly the energy and consistency that LeBron is playing from night to night to night. And Andrew Byam is not right. He's not healthy. Lakers are vulnerable. And Denver is playing at a higher level right now than the Lakers are. So I'm looking at that as a real test for the Lakers. No disrespect no? to the Nuggets, because I do think that they will be there. If you're going to pick a player that's not playing great, don't pick Kobe Bryant, okay, because he just put it on the Utah Jazz. Yeah, like and 5 yes, for 24 and, in the and, previous game. And, and they made it to the finals without buying them. Now, don't forget they've added Trevor Ariza, who wasn't a high, high performer last mm -hmm. year, and Shannon Brown. These are both contributors now. They're a better team this year mm -hmm. than they were last year, and they beat Cleveland in Cleveland without buying them. My final quick point is Orlando will beat Cleveland if Orlando gets Stop Cleveland. Stop it right <laughs> but now. But I don't trust I that. Don't I, know, I don't know, Bob. I don't know, Bob. we got to leave it there. That